Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm gonna to show you how to turn a regular default hill shade, which can be a little bit cold and sterile, but it's a good first step, into multi-scale hill shade, which has some depth and ambient effects and a little bit of overall structure goodness. And then, for giggles, we'll experiment with blending them into imagery. First example, we'll be using the overlay blend mode, and the second example, we'll use the luminosity blend mode. This video is brought to you by Shelly Beach, my junior high and high school English and creative writing teacher. More on that at the end of the video. Get your heel shade and blend mode fingers warmed up. Let's do this. Here is the area around Prescott, Arizona, and here is a digital elevation model of that area. Darker areas are low ele elevation, light areas are higher elevation. Digital elevation model. Let's look at what the symbology is here. My stretch type is set to minimum maximum, so the lowest elevation is going to be black, highest elevation is going to be white. Let's go to the imagery tab and choose raster functions, and I'm going to create two versions of this elevation model, each increasingly blurrier. I'll open the statistical group and choose statistics, and I'll set this to the original elevation model, and I'll say you are 10 pixels blurry and create that layer. And I can just turn this off because I'm gonna use it as an asset. And I'll name it Blur 10. Again, I'll do statistics, and this time I'm gonna make it even blurrier. This time I'm gonna do 20 pixel blur window. Nice and blurry. And I'll call this Blur 20, and I can turn it off. Now I'm just gonna make a couple of hill shades from these in the surface area. I'll choose hill shade and I'll point this at my blur 20, my very blurry hill shade. It looks like this. I kind of want to rub my eyes. That means we're doing it right. And I'll run the hill shade a second time, this time on the moderately blurry version of the elevation model. And we have some moderately blurry shadows. I'll run it a third time, this time on the original crisp elevation model. And we have what we think of as a typical hill shade. Now I'm going to start merging these together using blend modes. And I'm going to use the soft light blend mode. It'll sort of cook each of these layers together so we can see through to the underlying ones. And they'll all contribute to the hill shading. We'll get a nice blended result. Soft light. And I'll go down a level. And likewise, choose soft light. And I'll go down to Blur 20's Hill Shade and choose Soft Light. Now we're seeing all the way through to the original DEM. So original DEM, Hill Shade on Blur 20, Hill Shade on Blur 10, and Hill Shade on the original. These three have a Soft Light Blend Mode applied to them. Now I'm going to use the Slope Raster Function. And Slope will just calculate how steep an area is and color code it on a grayscale range. And I'll point this at the original elevation model. I'll create this and that looks about like what we would expect. White is very steep, black is very flat. I want to flip these. So I'll open the symbology panel and just invert this. There, that makes a lot more sense to me. I'll run it a second time, this time on the moderately blurry elevation model. I'll invert it. And a third time, this time on the most blurry version of our elevation model. And I'll invert this. Okay, now again, I'm gonna use a blend mode to cook these all together so I can see through to all of my underlying layers. This time I'm gonna use multiply. Multiply will only keep the darkness of a layer. It'll stitch the darkness of these layers together. So I'll go to the appearance tab and choose multiply and moderately blurry slope. I'll choose multiply and then the crisp slopes. I'll choose multiply. And now we've got something really kind of wonderful. Let me zoom in a little bit and give you an idea of what we're seeing, all these layers contributing to the surface terrain appearance of this area. I've got one last trick up my sleeve, and this is to create a hill shade of a slope. Why would we do something like that? Well, I'll show you. Imagery, raster functions, choose hill shade, and I'm gonna apply this hill shade to the crispiest version of our slope, slope on the original DEM. So this is gonna be a hill shade on a slope. And it looks like this, which is quite bizarre. Let me open this up and I wanna invert this and I'll zoom in to give you a closer look at what we've got here. We've got pretty much a poor man's edge detection. Anywhere where there's a, an abrupt change in the steepness of a place, it gives us a little berm, a little white highlight, and outside of that, a little dark area. And when I give this a blend mode of soft light, 
It just helps things, it helps the light catch the edges of these river valleys and plateaus. It's an edge detection. And it's kind of interesting to zoom and pan around and see all these layers build up and contribute to the overall sense of light and shadow. And we did it all with a single elevation model, run multiple times through some raster functions and blended with some blend modes. And these are all just rendered versions of our original elevation model. I haven't created any new files. Okay, now here is some extra credit. I'm gonna select all of these contributing layers and just group them into a single group and i'll call this hillshade and now with this group selected i'll give this a blend mode called overlay and that bakes the tones of my hillshade into my imagery and i have something that's really pretty dramatic So that's one blend mode applied to this hillshade layer. Another option, if you want to be more cartographic instead of more literal, is to choose the luminosity blend mode. Luminosity will keep all the light and shadow from this hillshade layer and tint it by the underlying hue of our imagery layer. And the result is pretty beautiful. It's amazing what can happen when you just stack up these terrain textures and blend them together. You get something really fun and wonderful. Come up with your own recipe. Try this, make your own, leave it hillshade, blend it into imagery. Have fun, go bananas. I'd like to thank this video sponsor, Mrs. Beach, for harnessing some of my middle school madness into creativity and craft. Thank you.